There's alcohol, there's food. Uh, we do have promoted nights, so some nights are a little bit busier than others. But the house party is over. Last Monday, Nakaya Grooms came into work to find the locks had been changed and her business shut down. I was traumatized. Like, I was shocked first. You know, my initial, I was shocked. I was confused. I didn't understand what was going on. I wasn't warned about anything happening or locks being changed. Nakaya had only been in business for the last six months. She thought all was well, but the St. Bernard police told her otherwise. Now I spoke to the police chief on the phone. He didn't want to go on camera, but said that Gigi's Bar and Grill had a multitude of complaints ever since Nakaya opened up the bar six months ago. He didn't want to say what those complaints were about and says that the decision to change the locks was ultimately up to the property owner. The man who owns the building is Joe Van Zant. He called me as I was conducting our interview with Nakaya. I own the bar. Own According to Van Zant, the St. Bernard Police Department gave him an ultimatum. Close it or we're going to go to Columbus and block your license. He's talking about his liquor license. Van Zant says police believed the crowd that Gigi's attracted was loud and dangerous. Police were said, Joe, let me tell you what's going to happen. There's going to be a shooting, I guarantee you. Nakaya says it doesn't make sense. She's never had a noise violation that she knew of or a concern that things would get out of hand. They haven't had to come in my bar for any kind of violent issues, any to break up any fights, any kind of violent nuisance. I asked the landlord about the lease and why Nakaya didn't get a warning before the doors were locked. If you really want to know the truth, I'm sorry all this happened. My business it's very important to me, and I know that the city has the power to block or take my license. I know this for a fact. Now, I did reach back out to the police chief about that liquor license claim. He says there was a conversation, but he wanted to be clear that it wasn't a threat. He said, quote, it was a possibility that it could be taken and that they didn't want to have to go there. Now, Nakaya says she's going to take this case to court because she believes she was illegally locked out of her place since she was under a lease agreement. The property owner says it's his building. He can do what he wants. For now in St. Bernard, Whitney Miller, 9 on your side.